It's magic. So this is a design that I came up with a few years ago for a miniature style media console slash record stand. Step one in the process was to break down my walnut plywood into the outer pieces of the carcass of the media console, which was two sides, a top, and of course the bottom. With my rough pieces broken down, I added a 15 degree bevel to what would be the front side of the media console. Now if I had any walnut on hand, I would have done hardwood banding, but instead I used this iron on edge banding that I've used on a few projects. After trimming the edge banding, I cut the 45 degree miters on each of my pieces. For the sliding panel on the front side of the media console, I had to add a quarter inch dado to be able to insert the panel. You'll have to take this dramatic close-up as proof that I actually did that because I did forget to film cutting the dado. I added 4mm dominoes just to add some additional strength to the miters, but they also helped out a ton on lining everything up during my glue up. I have really enjoyed filming the projects that I've been making lately and putting the videos out there for the world to see. If you like what you see, I'd love to see you hit that subscribe button or even just hit that like button. It helps tell YouTube that this is a video that it should suggest to other people. I'm getting super close to a couple milestones, so I'd super appreciate that support to help get me to that next level. So small confession, I've made this media console before and the first time I used this same pre-finished hardboard and I really like how it's held up over time. So it just made sense to do the same thing on this new version. The concept of this media console was to be as minimalist as possible, so I didn't want any visual mechanical fasteners holding the panel door in place. So I added magnets to the front of the shelf as well as the panel door, so when the shelf was slid all the way up, it would hold in place. I also waited till the carcass was built before adding the middle shelf, which was just held in place with pocket holes on the underside of the shelf. I always get excited about little things in design, and one thing I noticed on this build is the bench cookies that Rockler makes are just the right height that you can slip one of their bar clamps underneath a piece while still having the bench cookies in place. Very cool, Rockler. I used a two-part epoxy to glue the magnets into the shelf as well as the panel door. At the time, this seemed like the most attractive way to keep the magnets in place. For the walnut handle on the panel door, I did pre-drill and countersink from the back side just to make sure the heads of the screw wouldn't hit the shelf. When I installed the panel, I actually made sure to leave one of the screws out so I could still bend the panel into the dado. I also put a bit of paste wax in the dado just to help that shelf slide a little bit easier. If you haven't seen the Simple Finish by Maker Brand Co, I don't know where you've been in the woodworking community. I received one of the small sample bottles and it was just enough, I mean just enough to be able to finish this project. I love the way it turned out and I definitely am excited to use this finish in the future. I added these itty bitty little nine inch hairpin legs that I had a local welder put together for me and the media console was done. If you want to check out a couple more of my videos, I've added some links here and here that you can go to and continue watching. Thanks again for tuning in guys, we'll see you next time.
Thank you.